As punishment for his cheekiness, Percy was sent to work as the station pilot at the big station, and he was especially careful with the brake bands. While Percy was away, Doc helped out on Thomas's branch line with the goods traffic. He loved the change of scenery and took extra pride in his work. But one morning, Thomas woke up feeling unwell. You're all right to take Annie and Clarabelle, said the fat controller, but I don't want you to pull goods trains until we have time to fully mend you. Thomas understood this, but Doc was a little upset. This would mean he would have to manage the goods on his own. Come on, come on! Oh dear, Duck, having a bit of trouble? Why don't you quit teasing and lend me a buffer? Better you than me, Thomas laughed as he chucked away. Duck was cross. He wanted to think of a way to pay Thomas out. Later, Thomas had finished his train and was napping in the shed, when suddenly, a workman ran up. Wake up, Thomas, a train's waiting in the yard. What? I'm not allowed to pull trucks? The Sir Topham Hatt's orders. We don't have much of a choice. You're the only engine available, and this train is really important. But I've got a passenger train due soon. But before Thomas could finish, he noticed Duck at the platform with Annie and Clarabelle. Thank you for taking the goods, Thomas. Better you than me, anyway. And Duck trottled away, leaving a very cross Thomas behind. Thomas collected his train and started towards the harbor but he was in a foul mood and he just wanted to get it over with. Take it easy, Thomas. Don't strain yourself. Hold back! Hold back! But Thomas didn't care. He opened his regulator, pulling the trucks as hard as he could, when suddenly... Oh! Thomas wailed as he came to a grinding halt. His driver jumped down to have a look. That's Tony. You burst your safety valve. We'll have to call for help. As if Thomas's day couldn't get any worse, Duck was the one who came to his rescue. He didn't like that at all. But unfortunately, when they arrived at the next station, there was another problem. There's too much freight. Even the brake van is full. You know, Thomas is out of action. Maybe you can put the goods in his cab. Oh, no, you don't. I'm a tank engine, not a truck. We don't have much of a choice. You'll just have to put up with it. I'm sorry. Duck, don't ever expect me to help you at Nafford again. Oh, I won't. <laughs> so for the rest of the day, Duck used Thomas as a truck in his goods train, and the other engines all found it a great joke. At last, their run was complete, and Duck took Thomas back to the sheds. But as soon as they had settled down, Sir Topham had arrived. I shall send for Edward to take you to the works to be mended. Duck, you won't mind the extra work, will you? Of course not, sir. Better me than Thomas. Besides, he can't even pull a few trucks without losing his cool. And Duck trottled away, leaving Thomas to ponder in embarrassment.